In this video, I will consider one numerical on Norton's theorem. Find current I using Norton's theorem. This is the given circuit. We supposed to find current I which is flowing through 5 ohm resistor using Norton's theorem. As we know in Norton's theorem, we supposed to find two parameters. One is known as short circuit current represented as ISC and another one is Norton's resistance represented as RN. Let me explain how to find short circuit current. So short circuit current can be calculated as, as here we can see the current I we supposed to calculate which is flowing through 5 ohm resistor. Let me call this is branch AB where 5 ohm resistor is connected. So first step is we have to remove this 5 ohm resistor from the circuit and we have to short it. When we short the current will start flowing. The current flows through this shorted path is known as ISC. So first I will calculate ISC by shorting terminal A and B. The equivalent circuit looks like this. So here there was a 5 ohm register between A and B. I have removed it and I have shorted it. Now current will flow. That current is represented as ISC. So first let me calculate ISC. So I will simplify this circuit. Here we can see there is a 2 amp current source connected in series with 4 ohm register. One thing we should remember if register is connected in series with current source that resistance has no significance. We can remove this register and we can short this. It doesn't make any difference. So it is as good as there is no register here. I will convert the voltage source, the current source into voltage source because there is a register parallel to current source. So considering these two, I will convert this current source into voltage source. We know that to convert into voltage source, we have to apply Ohm's law that is V equal to IR. So here I is nothing but 2 and register value is 3. So the magnitude of voltage source is 6 volt. Now let me simplify this circuit. I will connect this part as it is. That is here we have 5 volt voltage source. So here we have 1 ohm register and this is the shorted path. I will connect it as it is. That is ISC. Here we have 2 ohm register. I will connect it as it is. Now here I suppose to convert this current source into voltage source. The magnitude of voltage source is 6 volt. Then this register will come in series with 6 volt. That is this is 3 ohm. So it will be connected in series with voltage source whose magnitude is 6 volt. So this is 6 volt. Now let me simplify this circuit to find ISC. So I will assume the current through this loop as X and I will assume current through this loop as Y. Let me apply KVL to loop X. That is apply KVL to loop X. So this is, so here we can observe that ISC is nothing but X plus Y because ISC is the current flowing through A to B. X is also flowing from A to B. Y is also flowing from A to B. So I can write ISC is equal to X plus Y. So now let me apply KVL to loop X here. We can say phi is equal to voltage drop across 1 ohm is 1 into X. So that's all. So here we can say X is equal to phi amp. Similarly, now let me apply KVL to loop Y that is apply KVL to loop Y. So I can write 6 is equal to we should go along with the direction of current. I, I will assume current is flowing from positive to negative. So the direction is shown in the same way drop across 3 ohm register plus drop across voltage drop across 2 ohm register that is I can write it as 3y plus 2y that is 6 is equal to 5y therefore y is equal to 6 by 5 therefore y is equal to 1.2 amps. So this is y value and this is x value. So now so therefore short circuit current IS is equal to x plus y which is equal to so x is already found that is 5 amp plus 1.2 therefore we have IS is equal to 6.2 amps. 
So we found the ISC that is 6.2. So now we are supposed to calculate Norton's resistance that is Rn. So now to find Norton's resistance, we have to find the equivalent resistance between terminal A and B keeping A and B open. So here we are supposed to remove this 5 ohm resistor from the circuit. Then A and B terminal will be open. We have to short circuit all voltage sources and open circuit all the current sources. And we are supposed to find the equivalent resistance between terminal A and B. So now to find Rn voltage source must be short circuited. current source must be open circuited. So let me draw the equivalent circuit. This is short circuited. There is one ohm register here and this is terminal A. Here this terminal B is B. I have to open this. I will remove that re register. It will become open. Then here we have two ohm register rest 3 ohm register and 4 ohm register should be connected as it is and we have to open this 2 amp. So it is here we have 2 ohm it is 3 ohm and here we have 4 ohm. So we have to find the equivalent resistance between A and B that is nothing but Rn. So here we can observe that Here as no current flows here. So as this terminal is open, no current flows here. So this 4 ohm will not come into the picture. Now these two will be in series. That combination will come in parallel with 1 ohm. Therefore I can write Rn is equal to these two are in series. That is 2 plus 3 is 5 parallel with 1 ohm register. So we can write Rn is equal to 5 divided by 5 plus 1. That is 6. So the value of 5 by 6 is 0 0.8333. So now let me draw the Norton's equivalent circuit. Norton's equivalent circuit. So Norton's equivalent circuit is nothing but a Norton's current IN is connected in parallel with Norton's resistance Rn. So here already we have found In. So which is nothing but ISC 6.2 amp. In and ISC both are same. It is also called ISC. Its value is 6.2 amp and Norton's resistance is already found that is 0 0.833 is equal to 0 0.8333. So now to this terminal we have to connect the actual register where we are finding the current. So this is the circuit where the actual register is 5 ohm. This should be connected to Norton's equivalent circuit. So here let me connect 5 ohm and current through this is say I. Now let me calculate I using current division rule. So by current division rule I can find I by using current division rule therefore I is equal to it says that total current that is total current into opposite resistor opposite to 5 ohm is 0 0.8333 0 0.8333 divided by sum of resistors that is 5 plus 0 0.8333 so simplifying this 0 0.885 amps. So therefore current through 5 ohm register I is equal to 0 0.885 amps. This is the required solution. So now I will verify the same problem by solving using loop analysis method. So this is the same circuit which is given. I will do the verification using loop analysis method. 
so this is no need to do this but just for understanding purpose i am doing here so this is the actual given circuit i will solve or i will find the current i using loop analysis and i will verify whether i'll get the same result or not so i will simplify this circuit first as as i said 4 ohm resistor is in series with 2 amp i will ignore this so i will convert this current source into voltage source let me redraw the circuit that is here we have 1 ohm this is 5 amp 5 ohm so we have this is 5 1 this is 5 volt here we have 2 amp current source and i will convert this into voltage source that is this 3 ohm is comes in series with voltage source so magnitude of voltage source is 6 that is v into i i into r that is 3 into 2 is 6 so this is the current i now let me we'll assume current through this loop as say x we'll assume current through this loop as y i'll apply kvl to loop x so i can write phi is equal to this is voltage drop across 1 ohm is 1 into x plus voltage drop across phi ohm resistor is phi in bracket x plus y because in phi both the currents are flowing here we can observe that i is equal to x plus y we'll use this later after finding x and y so simplifying this phi is equal to v out 6x plus 5y let me call it as equation 1 now similarly apply kvl to loop y i can write 6 is equal to v out 3y plus 2y plus here we have phi in bracket x plus y so simplifying this i can write it is 3y plus 2y plus 5x plus 5y or i can write 5x plus 3 2 5 5 plus 5 10 y so now so let me solve equation 1 and 2 so solving equation 1 and 2 we get x is equal to 0.571 amp and y is equal to 0.314 so therefore i will be equal to x plus y which is equal to 0.885 amps so by solving loop analysis also we got the same result that is 0.885 885 amps thank you for watching